Hi everyone, Gina Crafter, District Technology Coach. I wanted to show you a function um, that I have recently kind of discovered that could be really helpful um, is the Google Drawing Tool. So this I've seen used frequently for graphic organizers. If there's a graphic organizer that a teacher might want, has something like in mind, a vision, but can't find it, then this is a really great place to make one of those graphic organizers. So I'm in my drive here in the top right hand corner is my waffle. This is where we can always find our drive. Um, and I'm going to click, I'm going to have a new Google drawing. So I can either go to this new button and go down here to more and go to Google drawings. Or I can right click and go to more and go to Google drawings. So again, this is like a place where I've seen it frequently used um, for like graphic organizers and different things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and title this um, character web. I wanted to make a character web for a novel say that my students are using but I can't really find something um, or I'll, another way or reason why a teacher might use this is because you can share this document to your students and then they could fill out this web um, assign different things to them specifically so um, we're just going to um, create a character web. I'm gonna do just a very rough sketch of this. So I might have a box in the center um, and then maybe I have four characteristics that I want my students to look at. So I'm just going to do four just very rough lines here. And then I'm going to do an oval and I'm actually going to copy and paste this oval once I get it kind of centered how I would like it. I'm just gonna hit Control C and then Control V so I have the exact same oval and I can just paste it over onto my web. Again, Control V. So I would obviously make this look nicer, you know, you can change the colors and different things like that. This is just a rough sketch, but this is the really cool part that I like. If you have students that are in a group or um, you want them to be working on different aspects of this, you want them to collaborate together, this is where you're able to share it with those students and then those students can then collaborate on this graphic organizer together. I think that's a really great way of kind of solving Number one, not having to make as many copies, but then really creating a great environment, that controlled environment um, where students can collaborate on the same document. So I could share this with a couple of people. And then I want them to be able to edit it. So set edit files directly right here. If you want, don't want them to edit it, maybe you want them just to be able to comment on it. Or if you want them this just to be a document that they look at, you can make it to view. But I'm going to have it at edit because I would like my students to be able to type in there and to be able to write on it. Whenever I would hit send, this would share this character web with them. And then this would be something that my students could easily collaborate on together. This is one way I've seen Google Drawings used um, and it's been very effective within the classroom.